Space has always been the realm where we can address some of the biggest scientific questions, but more and more we rely on space for life on Earth. So we use space services for navigation, communication every day, and we also rely on data from space to understand our planet, our climate. The space sector has seen extraordinary growth in the last decade, and that will continue. So the work done in UCD Engineering ends up in all sorts of places, like the International Space Station, on sounding rockets going into space, Solar Orbiter is a spacecraft that's going to examine the activity of the Sun. So the coatings on the outside of the spacecraft were developed here in UCD with collaboration with industry. That's what's keeping that spacecraft cool. The Cameo project, uh, which is funded under the Disruptive Technologies Innovation Fund, brings together academics in UCD and a, a number of uh, companies in the area of Earth Observation Technology to build the new national platform for Earth Observation Data. The purpose is to democratise the use of Earth Observation Data and unlock its potential for non-specialist users. A lot of the research that's happening currently in the area of space science and astrophysics is really enabled by technological advancements and this is enabling us to make even more interesting discoveries as time goes on. And I think the curiosity driven research is really supported by the instrumentation and also it drives our curiosity, our student programme. We have fantastic undergraduates here in UCD, very talented undergraduates who go on to do masters and PhDs and ultimately support the growing space industry in Ireland. Part of what we're doing in Sea Space is around educating the next generation of really highly skilled graduates for working in the space sector and also for doing research related to space. Space education is really fundamental and it's about growing the capability in space systems, in space engineering to support industry. AirSat-1 is a 2U CubeSat, so CubeSats are these small-scale satellites. It's being built by a student-led and a postdoc-led team. I feel incredibly lucky to be in UCD at this time when we're building Ireland's first satellite. It's going to have such a huge impact on the Irish space sector. For the first time we have the entire life cycle of a spacecraft happening in Ireland. So that's very important for industry because we've demonstrated that we can develop new payloads using novel technology and we've also shown that we can incorporate that novel technology into a spacecraft and send it into space for the first time. For UCD, we're very satisfied that our research is actually part of this journey for Irish companies in space. The positioning of Irish companies to benefit from this space boom is made possible by the leadership of Enterprise Ireland and the government. Sea Space will support Irish industry in getting its fair share of that activity. We do this by collaboration, consultancy, internships and professional training courses. We also have a branch of Ireland's European Space Agency Business Incubation Centre at UCD and it supports new ideas both for space and for using space technology or data. Our hope is for the future that we'll secure support for the National Space Subsystems and Payloads Initiative. That will deliver space capability for Ireland and develop a breakthrough space system using advanced onboard artificial intelligence, quantum neural networks and lightning fast optical communication, all underpinned by UCD's space expertise. I'd say our message is that UCD Centre for Space Research is here to support Irish industry as they go forward on this great journey. Thank you.